Oscar Mingwesa to miss out on first team registration. Samuel Umtiti exit ruled out. Negotiation with Roberto go sideways. Ilash Moriba feels hurt and disrespected by the treatment. And all the transfers and news roundup coming on today. Team FCB Basta Daily News. So first up, due to lack of squad numbers, Barcelona cannot register central defender Oscar Mingueza as a first team player. Since numbers between 1 to 25 can be used to register first team players according to La Liga regulation, Barcelona so far have 23 players in the first team with finalized kit number. Because Mingueza is still a reserve player without a number, the Catalan club has until August 31st to register him with a first team or B team. The situation is concerning until Miriam Pjanic and Samuel Umtiti possible transfers are resolved. The same can be said for Philippe Coutinho who is currently without the kit number. Our next story is about Samuel Umtiti desire to stay at Barcelona. Members of Barcelona boards and the club's sporting director have all agreed that the defender will be remaining for the coming season. The centre-back is said to have met with the members of the directors earlier this week including Rafa Juste, Mathieu Almani and Jean Laporte to convey his desire to remain at the club. Barcelona have been attempting to sell the Frenchman for some time. The club was thought to be convinced earlier this month that Umtiti had no future in Barcelona. And if Umtiti is to stay, Barcelona will most likely certainly try to impose a wage cut on him as they have done with other key members of the squad. And it remains to be seen whether Ronald Koeman relies on the Frenchman. Our next story is all about Sergio Roberto as negotiation goes sideways. After Gerard Piquet and Jordi Alba accepted pay cuts and deferrals, Barcelona have reached an agreement with Sergio Busquets over similar deduction, according to ESPN. However, the Catalan seems to have hit an obstacle in the negotiation with Sergio Roberto, as the wage cut would allow the club to complete the registration of Sergio Aguero with La Liga as well. The 29-year-old is in the final year of his contract with Barcelona and being one of the captains, he is happy to take a wage cut to help the Catalan in the current circumstances. However, the versatile midfielder is said to be unhappy over the terms being offered by Barca, who are willing to extend his stay by two years but with 40% pay cut. It is claimed that Roberto has multiple bigger and better offers from elsewhere. With just a week left for transfer window to slam shut, the future of Barcelona starlet Ilash Moriba is likely to be resolved one way or the other. However, things have gone sour between the teenager and the club over the past weeks due to his contract situation. Moriba has entered the final year of his deal with Barcelona and has rejected multiple offers made by the Catalan as he holds out for higher wages. Barcelona are holding out for at least 20 million euros for 18 year olds despite interest from the likes of RB Leipzig, Chelsea and Manchester City. It remains to be seen whether Barcelona finds Chelsea offer of 17 million euros acceptable or maintain their stance on the 20 million valuation. A failure to come to an agreement means that Moriba remains at the club for another year before leaving for free next time. And now we have our transfer and news roundup. This is where we take a look at some of the news and transfers going on in Barca footballing world. And first up, Mirjan Pjanic runs out of departure options. Having been a misfit at Barcelona since joining from Juventus last summer, the 31-year-old is yet to find a new club after failing to settle in at Camp Nou. Meanwhile, Barcelona have received offers from cryptocurrency company Socios.com. The amount of risk and variable involved in the cryptocurrency market is very high. Barcelona will only consider this move if the money is too good to refuse. That's it from today, Team FCB Barca Daily News. As always, check out all the other content we've got here and let me know your thoughts in the comment down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, see you all later.